Welcome back to Whiteboard Jumatra. I'm your host, Alice, and let's get to it. The Conspiracy. Let's say that there are these people that secretly run things. Then they've always run things. Throughout history, men have been trying to conquer the world. From Alexander the Great to Napoleon to Hitler. If anyone thinks this time we live in is any different, I'd ask them. Problem, reaction, solution. So, examining the details of the Hegelian dialectic. This is a control mechanism technique that has been used uh, by the ruling class for as long as you could possibly imagine. It seems to be a repeated pattern throughout history on every angle. Uh, it seems to be a classic civil Unease, uh, upheaval, uh, civil unrest situations are always tied around it. Social movements, political issue. And it's about creating a problem. Well, not creating. It seems to be there's always a problem, some kind of reaction and solution. We are uh, educated enough to understand that it is also used purposefully by people in power. And like I just said, the ruling class as a tool to control. I've looked at this in depth before, and when we take a look at the situation we're in now, we are at a interesting cornerstone because the temperature on this uh, has gone up quite significantly, and that's what we're going to be looking at today, at the reminder of where really we are sitting in the grand scheme of things here, because this is just the beginning of this problem, reaction, solution situation we're finding ourselves in. For we are more polarized now in the this uh, situation than we've ever been in and we're going to see as this video uh, goes on the now the new steps that are being taken so <clears throat> first of all there's the reminder that and if you haven't seen it you can still see it on BitChute. It's the Grand Deception video where I go over and explain how the test run for what we're going through right now already took place within Germany, where uh, by creating a conspiracy, uh, they inputted it and had Jewish people marry into high-level ranking families and especially into government political, social, and uh, influential positions in business. And they also had Freemasons come in and create system structures that supported this whole thing. Now, when it came time for revolution, uh, there was a bunch of social changes being put in place that all parallel that take place uh, even in the U.S. at the, the same rate after the war. So we can see these situations to break down societies uh, from a social, political, propaganda-wise. And I, I take a look at that in depth and show how Germany, through this process, uh, by creating this conspiracy and then also then by revealing it to the people, they themselves had to go out and reveal it because the people just didn't look. We as normal thinking people don't just wake up thinking about there's people out there looking to screw you that's just not normal thinking for an average person because it's not normal thinking for people to wake up thinking i'm going to get people so that just shows you how weird and of a situation the world is in because we're now all waking up to this understanding that there are a group of people who legitimately are on this earth and are coming at you. So it's a very interesting thing to wake up to and to remember that other people really are just coming to grips with this and it's a hard thing to take. So that's not why this reminder of what happened in Germany is so important because as a result of the propagandizing and creating this conspiracy and then revealing it, there was a revolution that came as a result from it. And Hitler was installed and took advantage of this now revolutionized mindset, people looking for a leader, and they banded behind him and 
ended up being in a worse position as a result of backing this person. And they thought it was organic, that it was a natural procession of events that made that happen. When it was all orchestrated, as Hitler himself was a Jesuit he uh, lover, he was also uh, a Freemason, and he's Freemason symbolism and numerology. So he, it, it's a very interesting connection, considering it was the Freemasons that were kicked out, who were persecuted along with the Jews as this whole thing turned around. So it goes to show that they are willing to sacrifice even themselves in order to have these situations set up. And then all these people in the rank and file that aren't part of this planning system, they all take a fall and it all then becomes organic looking. So I took a look at that and a reminder because that is the play that we are going through right now except on a world stage we have been shown the con they went in and created a conspiracy now they're shown us the conspiracy and we are polarized we are polarized now more so than ever at this point anybody who hasn't dis like everybody has decided whether or not they're going to take it and they're either those who aren't they're polarized. They won't because they think that if they do, it will kill them. Those who w have taken it or want to take it are doing so because they're afraid that if they don't, they will die. So both are polarized equally at 100% thinking either one is a, it's a death choice. So we have this Hegelian dialectic, perfect problem, reaction, solution, the two sides, the thesis and the antithesis, going head to head to create a war, a revolution to a th synthesis, which is what they want anyway. But we want us to think that it was our organic growth as people, just not being led by the nose to the place where these ruling class people want but they just don't want to come out and say it. So, Because obviously most of us would probably not want to go along with it. So for those of you who haven't seen this video, uh, go and take a look at it. It goes through the Germany stuff and it will really set up for a reminder of what we're going through right now. Closed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration, instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice, on guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. No expenditure is questioned, no rumor is printed, no secret is revealed. It conducts the Cold War in short. With a wartime discipline, no democracy would ever hope or wish to match. So, it's absolutely fascinating to hear that speech in enlightened eyes and ears as though it could be specifically said by Hitler in Germany. As we understood, it attacks the freedoms of the people, the repression of their society, their group as a whole coming under attack underneath this secret conspiracy that is coming to get them. It's absolutely fascinating. Wash, rinse, repeat. They did it in Germany, and now we understand why they quote-unquote killed JFK after this to give that speech of conspiracy the highest level of legitimacy. Yet, we forget that JFK was the president. He was a descendant of the... King John of England in the same manner that all presidents except for one was a descendant of. He was a Rosicrucian. He was a Freemason. And no Freemason will divulge any information that he otherwise isn't told to divulge. And in the same manner revealed a grand conspiracy. Step one, create a conspiracy. 
Step 2. Tell us about it. 91 closed door meeting of fellow internationalists. Billionaire and former CFR chairman David Rockefeller praised his media allies, but his confidence that his words would not leave the room was later broken. We are grateful to the Washington Post, the New York Times, Time Magazine, and other publications whose directors have attended our meetings and restricted their promises of discretion for almost 40 years. It would have been impossible for us to develop our plan for the world if we had been subject to the right fight of publicity. But the world is now more sophisticated and prepared to march toward a world government. It reveals that these men aim to create a world system of financial control in private hands, able to dominate the political system of each country and the economy of the world as a whole. Now, we know that this domination of world control was already in play. The, the Roman Holy Empire already had this domination. This is a purposeful leak. This is a purposefully exposed so that we know, just as they would not release and allow Fahrenheit 9-11 unless they wanted you to know there was a conspiracy. Just as they would not tell you and make a movie about Edward Snowden if he was really out there expressing things they didn't want you to know. It's time to wake up people. This is a replay. This is propaganda. And we are the willing sheep who want to know that there is a conspiracy, that we want to know all the fingers involved, but what we're not willing to know is that this conspiracy is purposed so that we know there's a conspiracy, so that we will revolt against this conspiracy. Architects for engineers would not be allowed to exist if they were to expose something they didn't want exposed, but they have websites, they have videos, and they're allowed to expose. I couldn't help at one point in my discussions with, privately with General Secretary Gorbachev. When you stop to think that we're all God's children, wherever we may live in the world, I couldn't help but say to him, just think how easy his task and mine might be in these meetings that we held if suddenly there was a threat to this world from some other species from another planet uh, outside in the universe. We'd forget all the little local differences that we have between our countries and we would find out once and for all that we really are all human beings here on this earth together. Well. I don't suppose we can wait for some alien race to come down and threaten us, but I think that between us we can bring about that realization. In our obsession with antagonisms of the moment, we often forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war? I think maybe I'd answer it this way. I, I keep in my frustration sometimes you know, actually, if you count some of the things going on in smaller countries and all, there have been about 114 wars since World War II. But I've often wondered, what if all of us in the world discovered that we were threatened by an outer a power from outer space, from another planet? Wouldn't we all of a sudden find that we didn't have any differences between us at all? We were all human beings, citizens of the world, and wouldn't we come together to fight that particular threat? That's right for all you people who think that the alien conspiracy is 
us discovering their lies. No, they told us about it too. They've told us about every conspiracy. We did not discover a thing. They created a conspiracy. They educated us to the conspiracy. And now we're getting revved up to revolt against the conspiracy. This is the grand deception. Their propaganda teaches us. Their media teaches us. Their music teaches us. Their everything they produce teaches us that there's a conspiracy. That we need to revolt. That there's a world order coming and it's going to crush us all. And we better fight back. We better prepare. And we better win or else. Out of these troubled times, our fifth objective, a new world order can emerge, a new era, freer from the threat of terror, stronger in the pursuit of justice, and more secure in the quest for peace. An era in which the nations of the world, east and west, north and south, can prosper and live in harmony. A hundred generations have searched for this elusive path to peace, while a thousand wars raged across the span of human endeavor. And today that new world is struggling to be born. A world quite different from the one we've known. A world where the rule of law supplants the rule of the jungle. A world in which nations recognize the shared responsibility for freedom and justice. A world where the strong respect the rights of the weak. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. A world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. What is at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea, a new world order, where diverse nations are drawn together in common cause to achieve the universal aspirations of mankind peace and security, freedom and the rule of law. Such is a world worthy of our struggle and worthy of our children's future. Now we can see a new world coming into view. A world in which there is the very real prospect of a new world order. In the words of Winston Churchill, a world order in which the principles of justice and fair play protect the weak against the strong. A world where the United Nations, freed from Cold War stalemate, is poised to fulfill the historic vision of its founders. They've told us everything They've told us it was the UN. They told us it was the Freemasons. They told us it was the Jews. They told us it was the whites. They told us it was everyone. They have set us up against everyone. This is the grand conspiracy.
So we find ourselves now in a situation where we are all well aware that the problem reaction solution situation that we find ourselves in currently that might be affecting our personal jobs and even ability to freely roam is is about to be uh, again challenged and just right up taken away so it's coming to the point to realize that we are being forced into this problem react and solution and it will be playing out and we will be seeing the realities of life change and realize and come to understand i just don't know if people realize the level of worldwide conditioning that is set up to make this event happen. So, not only that, we really are in a situation now where if you don't revolt, they take over, unless you revolt. So, we see ourselves in a situation that is being fabricated it has been absolutely made to create a hopeless situation without chance. There is no way around it. It's, it has been made to erupt. So let's take a look at the thesis. Because just as in Germany... There was the Jews and the Freemasons that interfered with the well-being of the German people. And now we see the thesis of... We all know, but still pay insufficient attention to the frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack, which would bring to a complete halt to the power supply transportation, hospital. The Great Reset's World Economic Forum group brings us the big event, the big thesis, but not just them. Even though in the Great Reset from the World Economic Forum, they simply state right out there for everybody to clearly see, and just as we heard, they predicted the cyber attacks that took place. So is that prediction, or is that just telling us what they plan on doing? They go on to say, there is an urgent need for global stakeholders to cooperate in simultaneously managing the direct consequences of the COVID-19 crisis to improve the state of the world. The World Economic Forum is stating or is starting the Great Reset Initiative. So it's starting. Like They're just telling us straightforward. This is a, this is a plan. This is what's going on. And uh, you better jump on board. We also see right in the headlines with Forbes how Bill Gates is a vaccine hero. The seven most influential vaccine heroes and Bill Gates being identified in this. And uh, yeah, the guy who is responsible for funding Event 201, the uh, high-level pandemic exercise for, we, uh, yeah, we all know the exact situation that's going on. So... Here we have the thesis, right? We have the conspiracy, so create a conspiracy. Then we need a antithesis. We need a literal opposite to that. So just as we saw in Germany, we we're just talking about with the thesis, we had the Jews and the Masons come in and corrupt the country. Well, now here we have the World Economic Forum and we have the Bill Gates Society coming in and proposing all these different changes through corruption. Now, the th antithesis to this, we get given to us just like the left and the right. So we have... You know, the argument of the thesis, well, who are the antithesis? Because they're given to us as well, just like Robert Kennedy Jr., right? Like the anti-vaccine uh, guy. Del Bigtree on the high wire. We got Sherry Tenpenny. <coughs> we got people equally famously on both sides now, right? Like, th this is a big deal. we got to understand this. Like, again, if they didn't want us to know about it, we wouldn't be reading about it in headlines. Like, 
if they didn't want people to know about Sherry Penpenny, then they wouldn't have put her on, you know, these these pages. But they did, because they want people to find them, because it arms the right, just as the left is armed by their heroes. So the left is given their heroes, the right are given their heroes, and now the reality is both sides are given equally powerful arguments, but it's about who you believe. And what's interesting about it is it has caused a really big division in this one because we're all quite aware about, like I was saying earlier, it's to the point where the people who are on one side, on the right, believe they're doing so out of a life and death situation and those on the left likewise. However, this is the big deal with the new narrative that's appearing and this is the big transformation because this is no longer about, you know, you know, who did this and all this kind of stuff. You know, this is now about the endemic that is now being put out into play. And along with that comes a lot of other issues. So an endemic is used to describe a disease that is present permanently in a specific region or a group of people and that is what's now starting and that is being applied to uh, covid uh, as a get ready to exist with this forever is now going to be part of your normal shots it's going to be part of the schedule of birth it's going to be required uh, in order for travel and access to different places in the city and eventually and, and work and then eventually shopping even food so we are now crossed over in this conspiracy so just as there was a crossover in germany where it went from propaganda to convince the people against the jews and the masons then it went to persecution and a crossover where the media went from talking about it to saying we need to do something about it are you ready for a war Players in the tourism industry have welcomed the launch of the tourism and travel, health and safety protocols. It's now a reality that the virus could become endemic and we must all be prepared to live with it and resume normalcy under the prevailing circumstances as global efforts to find vaccines continue. Uh That's right. We better get used to living with it. It's an endemic it's the new normal. And as the top U.S. health official warns, we are now also looking at a pandemic of the unvaccinated. So we are now in a different situation because the left, for the no better, but for the argument of the Hegelian dialectic, the left is now being fed. Players in the tourism industry. We need to get used to this. This is normal. This will be with us forever, just like the measles and chicken pox and all these other things that you guys need to get inoculated for. Well, this will be one of them. Well, on the other side, what are they dealing with, with those who don't want to be part of that? Well, they're now saying those people are the disease. We are now going through a pandemic of the unvaccinated, the unvaccinated now, have been declared a disease. So just as in Hitler's time, the propaganda switched to start identifying those who were no longer sympathetic to the system, they started to devalue them and change the perspective of the majority to see those as less than them. And by con uh, using language as to identify the unvaccinated as a sickness and as people who are causing death, you cause in the mind a depreciated value of those people. And it is the stepping stones towards prejudice, towards slander, towards malice, towards hate, and eventually legalized persecution.
U.S. COVID deaths are rising again. Expert called it a pandemic of the unvaccinated. Pandemic of the unvaccinated. COVID-19 deaths up 26% over weeks in the U.S. Interesting number. Pandemic of the unvaccinated. Biden grappling with it. CNN pandemic. New York Times pandemic of the unvaccinated. CTV News. Global News. WebMD. Everybody pandering to the new slogan pandemic of the unvaccinated the war has been declared in france and germany those who reject these vaccines find doors increasingly shut france Vaccines mandatory for all health workers. France and Greece make vaccination mandatory for health workers. Greece and France join Italy in making vaccinatory mandatory for health workers. However, the French citizens protest mandatory vaccines for restaurants. France has a new strict vaccine requirement. Could it work for the U.S.? Well, the French protested. And over 100,000 protested. This is an interesting thing because I don't know, because depending on where you go and read, it's almost like uh, they tried to suppress the amount of people that came out. Seems to be this general thing, but I was able to find that they have now quoted 100,000 that had joined in with the protests. Some will say thousands. You know, that could be two or 3,000. Well, no, that's 100,000. So this whole Hegelian dialectic is huge. You know, there, there's a lot of people out there who are partially semi and wide awake walking around. This is not, you know, 10% of the population. Like 100,000 people, that's a huge chunk. Because how many of those awake people wouldn't go out? How many of those people wouldn't go out whether they were awake or not? How many people are not allowed or unable because of many barriers and obstacles? How many people would simply be afraid to want to go? And still 100,000 people showed up. No, there's a lot of people out there who want to fight for for the freedom. And there's a lot of people out there who want to fight for their enslavement. This replay, this play we are going through is real and is going to cause a lot of damage to this world. And out of this chaos will rise their golden phoenix. The UK vaccine passports plans to be scrapped. May 30th, 2021, the UK vaccine passport plans are to be scrapped. Britain plans to drop these passports as a legal requirement. Oh, interesting how one day ago, though, COVID vaccine certificates to be compulsory for crowded venues in England. You see, people, it's never going to end. They're going to push and push and push until either 40 to 50% of the earth dies because they don't get food and this level of apartheid becomes absolutely atrocious to the point where even those who are completely asleep or either walk away and let everybody die and we'll have a new world order or they will rise up and say, you know, this is unfair, which we obviously know they probably won't. That's why they allow it to get to that point anyway. So here we see it's not going to end. They're going to push it through. It's what it is. This is the play. This is the game. It's so important to plan it ahead for the future. We've reached an agreement with Pfizer for 35 million booster doses for next year and 30 million in the year after. This deal includes options to add 30 million doses in both 2022 and 2023 and an option for 60 million doses in 2024. Pfizer has been a solid partner for Canada in this fight against COVID-19 and we're happy to be one of the first countries to secure an agreement with them going forward. These boosters will be the latest version of the Pfizer vaccine based on research and testing, and they will help us keep the virus under control. And the work doesn't end there either. We're on ongoing discussions with other vaccine manufacturers about their plans. This is not going to go, this is going to be pushed 
and pushed and pushed. And it doesn't matter what we do. It's either going to be a full revolt and war and civil war or it's going to be concession. See, this is crazy. The power of the mind. This is where people really got to come to understand and come to grips with social control, social demographic understandings, why they track everything you do on Facebook, why they track everything, because they know how people work now. They can pull off stage shows that the entire world believes are real, that they need to participate with, and why they don't simply just go and arrest them. That's how come. We have to understand this will not go away until they are stopped. And they're willing to bet. They're unstoppable. And that's the war we're in. How can we stop them when we don't even realize we're going to war with the wrong people? The left versus the right will never fix anything. And they know it. And that's why they always set up as against each other. And that's the way it is. And that's why we can't participate in that. But what do we do? Because if we don't revolt, they get the world order. If we revolt, we are now part of a world revolt. And we're going to be given to us a hero, just like Hitler then was given to them. And those who are revolting will think we are walking into a new organic freedom. Welcome to hell, people. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know how to stress this anymore, but we are in a weird transitional point in this world history. B, uh, Bill C-51, the Assembly of Canadians who came out and they protested as well. We got protesting, we have crack, you know, lockdowns all over the world. Canada, England, France. <laughs> Singapore has announced it will start treating COVID-19 like the flu thanks to its stellar vaccination rate. The city-state has been one of the world's most successful at combating the virus, with two-thirds of its residents set to be fully vaccinated by August. The announcement will bring radical changes to Singapore's disease management strategies. There will be no goals of zero transmission, quarantine will be dumped for travellers, and close contacts of cases will not have to isolate. It also plans to no longer announce daily case numbers. But Singaporeans may need to take tests to head to the shops or go to work. Yeah, everything's going to go back to normal. But you're going to have to prove that you've taken shots if you want to work and buy food. This is but a taste of the terror that Saruman will unleash. All the more potent he is driven out by fear of Saruman ride out and meet him head on. Draw him away from your women and children. You must fight. You have 2,000 good men riding north as we speak. Aymer is loyal to you. His men will return and fight for their king. They will be 300 leagues from here by now. Aymer cannot help us. I know what it is you want of me, but I will not bring further death to my people. I will not risk open war. Open war is upon you, whether you would risk it or not. Open war is upon you, whether you would risk it or not. The left is versus the right. And as we've seen, the left getting a heavy dose of war-like propaganda with this pandemic of the unvaccinated, the right, especially those in the conspiracy world, and even those now who aren't but pay attention to those, well, they're getting a pretty heavy doses of being revved up as well. Now, I don't support or say, you know, you should listen to this person for the truth. However, you need to listen to everybody and hear everything and understand what's going on and this is a very interesting time because this took place at the exact same time that the left was pushing for the vaccination against 
or the pandemic of the unvaccinated. Being 100% serious to get people out of their trance and to get the governors and the legislatures and the corporate owners and, and the average people and the pastors and others to realize this is a globalist takeover. And the left teaches you to bow down to political correctness, to do what you're told, and they'll leave you alone and pass you over. That's not going to be happening now. They want to fully bankrupt the country, bring in a global social credit score, a digital system that tracks and traces everything you do. And they want to forcibly put things in your body, make you wear masks, and at the very same time, my friends, still keep you locked down in your homes, even if you submit to all the things they want you to do. L.A. is one of the most compliant, servile, collapsing areas under globalist satanic control. And what have they done? What have they done? They have come back out. Your piece is a little too tight here. I'm almost too mad to do the show at this point. In fact, I just need to walk out of here. I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I, and this is not some theatrics I'm doing. I've reached the point so pissed off at everything that I can't do the show anymore. I got to go to rebroadcast for a while. Let me play a couple things. We'll see if I'm able to come back. Probably not. I just, we're going to get wiped out. People aren't serious. They're all in the trance. It's all over. S seriously, screw everybody, man. If you want to let them murder you and your family, just go ahead. I mean, they're, they're having press conferences. And they're going to read all your text messages. I mean, screw them. They should all be arrested now. Is there nothing we won't put up with? Seriously. It's obscene to come into the show with Johnny B. Good playing like we're still in a free country and having a good time. And I'm not mad at the crew. I put that music in there. But that's all over. All this crap's over. Everybody got that? We got serious murderers killing everybody around us. They think it's funny. I think we're in a damn trance going to put up with it forever. And I look at that raggedy Ann, freaking Fauci up there, and that Crip Keeper Biden, and the Chai Com stumbling around, bunch of murderers. <sighs> Okay. I'm going to tell you this again. You see this right here? This is in America. If you're a TV viewer. You see this right here? This says right here, this is the national directive of the president and an executive order saying if you question lockdowns or forced inoculations or stolen elections, you are a terrorist and you are a white supremacist and the Pentagon says it's preparing to attack you and your family. But I can't have the guest on today. I'm too mad. I, I, I can either leave and, and have the guest be on with Owen, or I can't have guests. I'm not mad at the next guest you have, but I just have to cancel him. I'm too angry to have guests on. Cancel the guest. I'm, I'm doing the show, but cancel the guest. So I'm going to try to calm down a little bit because I have to cover all this, and I have to go over all this. Plus, why have guests on that are one-tenth as hardcore as me? And like pretend like I don't know a hundred times what they do. And I have to sit around with all these people who have no idea what's going on. We have a battle plan to stop it right now. If you just listen to me. If we don't arrest Gates and Fauci, if we don't arrest these people, if we don't stop them, they're going to kill everybody. Does everyone understand that? They have a successive plan like dominoes that each level gets worse over the next 10 years until by 2030, they've killed 90% of the world population. That's their official plan. And they've started it and they've executed it. Both sides are getting revved up. To the point where I really hope you guys are, I think most of you guys are aware. I, I really don't understand how there is people who listen to this channel, because uh, we're quite far down the rabbit hole here, that don't understand how desperate of a time this is. Like, you should be making plans with people, you should be meeting people, you should be having you know, fallout plans, you know, backup plans to your fallout plans. What? How are you going to live for the next year? How How are you going to make a transitional period? There's like three groups of people in this uh, world at the moment. Those who have no idea what's going on and they're just going along with the plan. Those who have an idea what's going on and those who have an idea what's going on and are trying to be prepared. 
So hopefully uh, with these videos that I'm doing, I am motivating everybody to move into the last category. We're all probably at very different points of where we are in this transition trying to figure out what we need to do. But there are very basic things you should be doing at this point. You should be buying and stocking up food. You should be buying and stocking up seeds. You should be stockpiling as much possible cash as you possibly can to pay for your mortgage and rent. You need to be dumping debt as fast as humanly possible. You need to be clearing and selling off your items that you do not know that really you don't need. You need to start learning how to live without power. You need to learn how to start producing all your food and every single thing that it is that you buy. If you buy it, you're dependent. It is time to shift because the world is not going to give you another chance otherwise. This is not to scare anybody or freak you out. I'm not into the whole idea of fear porn and any of that concept. The reality is we saw in Russia the deaths that took place. We saw in Germany deaths that took place. We saw in all the wars created by these people and revolutions. This is what they do, but this is the big one. And we all, for the past, anybody growing up in North America, which is the bulk of the people who listen to me, have lived in front of a television screen long enough to see movies to understand that this is the time period they've been talking about for the last 15 years in the movies, in your music. They've been singing about this forever. We are at such a transitional, pivotal point, and as this channel is going to progress forward, because all my content is now gone, I'm going to start at a very basic fundamental, and we're going to take a relook at this, and we're going to start slow and at the importance of some numbers, or how to introduce it to people, where this stuff comes from, who's behind it, why are they doing it, so that as we move forward, we're not just looking at headlines and waiting from day to day, but instead going through again why we are here, where we come from, what we should be doing, why we should be talking and praying to Jesus, why we should be getting our head pulled out of the propaganda of the anti-Jesus world, pulling our head out of the... the uh, I'm going to be hitting everything again. I'm going to re-go through diet, uh, there's a lot of new people that have never heard this stuff and a lot of old videos I had that never broke uh, the views that they, sh they definitely should have. So we're going to go over a lot of important videos. Uh, so as we move forward here, let's get back to learning some, going over some stuff that maybe uh, should be mentioned a few or more times again. So I don't know where you guys are at sharing this channel. If you enjoy what I do, Again, I do appreciate the support, and there are people who I, I want to thank again for they've continued during this transition of me moving into my new place and getting set up and losing internet and being banned uh, repeatedly have stuck beside me with uh, financial support. I really appreciate it, and if you would also like the support that what I am doing, I would definitely appreciate it. Me and my family are absolutely appreciative of everything that has been given to us. And uh, as we move forward here, I do want to labor it because it is the most important thing during these times is to come to grips with the truth of Jesus, that the scriptures are true to what they say, but our minds have, like all things, been highly propagandized and nothing more. And again, though my testimony has been erased, which is too bad, but I was born in a world where God existed. I did not believe in Jesus, nor was I taught to think about Jesus. That was not how I came to know him. That is not something that I recommend really to too many people, because unfortunately with the delusion and the trickery brought into the church as it stands, it's almost a detriment at this point, because yes, you know a lot of what it says, but... The problem is the truth uses the same words that you know, but the meanings are different. And I got caught up a little bit into that when I got, when I went through my transition. And I almost got caught up in it too, but luckily God decided that that just wasn't for me, I guess. And this is where we ended up. And I am now more than ready to 
pull back some of these curtains for people that unfortunately are buying into the delusion that the that the occult is pushing out there this veganism this adulterating the diet of that has already been laid out we're also going to be talking about astrology where it comes from and how it is actually uh, a babylonian thing leading into gematria and all sorts of things that hopefully we will clear up a lot of this misconception and get back to some of that kind of stuff uh, unfortunately we are all reading the news headlines and a lot of people are covering those so let's get back to the meat and potatoes again let's get back to why we're here what's going on and what we need to do a lot of people cover those headlines so well you don't need me wasting my time doing that when i know things that nobody else seems to be wanting to talk about like why this un theosophy alice bailey you know, movement is still alive and moving on track. And why isn't everyone talking about this? Yes, the Jesuits are behind a lot of these plans. And they're, this is, you know, but why aren't we talking about what is happening? It's because of this grand deception, people. Like, this is the, the grand deception. People think they're going to awake. Like, everyone thinks people are waking up to this great awakening. That everybody's going, look at the Freemasons rule the world. The Jesuits rule the world. Look at all these people are conspiring against us. They want us to know that. They want us to revolt against them. They want a new world order. In order to do that, they need to topple the kings of the earth. They have to get rid of kingdoms. They have to get rid of governments. They want us to get down to the seven continents, the seven nations. The seven Noahide systems and the 70 nations, however you want to look at it and break it down. But the way to do that is to destroy everything already set up. And they have to do it and they have to make it look organic. And they want to do so so that when it takes over and we move into this new, you know, organically led revolution, we're going to want to be there. Because we're going to think that we freed ourselves. But all they did was rearrange the decks, you know, the chairs on the deck, you know, put up a few new posters, gave us all new location, found a different way to tax us, and gave us less freedoms. That's all this is about. It's about more for them and less for us and less of us. These are the times why the Bible becomes more real and becomes more debated is because when we are looking at you know life and death conversation real things become more important that's why those who say you know you save your toys you know what's that good for you like i just moved three times now in the past seven months to get to where we are and i'll tell you I don't use 90% of what we own. And we got rid of 50% of what we owned. And we still got stuff that just we just have. It's unbelievable how much junk and time we waste on things that we never use. And how much time and energy we don't spend on things that sustain our own lives. We have been deluded. We have become part of the system. We are dependent. We are children in their mom and pop system. And we depend on mom and pop, on our granny government. We really do. And don't say you don't. Because if everything shut off right now, how long would you live? I know there's a few out there, but there's not many. And that's the race, my friends. If they shut off everything, how far away are you from turning to a handout? That's the race. Get there. Get on your knees and pray. God will find a way. And for those where it's just not an option, this is not like God is turning his back on people. This is the evil of the world. This is why this whole thing eventually will come to an end because this is evil. And if you've never really believed in evil, well, this is going to prove to you 
Like, this is evil. Absolute evil. We're not just talking about ripping people off and scamming money off of taxes. We're talking about the organized mute murder of mankind. Like, the organized murder of a man is evil. The organized murder of men is atrocious. The organized murder of a country caused so much turmoil in wars to the point where there's rules of war and conduct because the evil expanded to the point of such hostility. And this is even beyond that. The heart of man is continually evil, says scripture. Therefore God decided to flood and judge the world to end to bring an end to this evil. Well, after the flood, he hung his bow in the sky and said he would never again, ever again, flood the world. But he did say it was destined for judgment and fire, and this time all death and pain and sorrow shall be put away. But no liars, thieves, murderers, adulterers, none of those who toss away the commandments of God, the universal laws of God that exist in the very fabric of the vibrational mindsets of all you occultists out there who believe in the higher and lower frequency vibrations. <laughs> the reality is God created everything and within that everything there are universal truths that hold things together and those things are laws and the Ten Commandments are just as universally attached to those laws as such things as buoyancy and density. You cannot be apart from the commandments of God and the commandments I'm speaking about are the Ten Commandments that are apart from the Hebrew people, but are actually just part of the universal construct in which we exist and move in. And those who break those laws, who shun the word of God and join in with all those other acts, will not have a place as those who will be pulled out of this fire. Those who join those things will be left in the fire in the judgment to come. And they will never receive any refreshing water. The reality is, we live in a world run by evil. And it wants nothing more than to convince you that Jesus isn't real. Again, and I've said this many times, and I'm a preacher, so I'm preaching. I haven't had a chance to talk freely in a long time. The reality is, there is nothing more taught against right now than the name of Jesus for it holds back the entire world's religious universal movement the entire world's movement of humanistic, humanistic acceptance the entire world's movement of Gaia worship of the worship of the love of animals and just the creation itself every major religious movement is halted because of the character of Jesus, which is simply put in that Jesus is the only way to God. He is the gate. He is the lamb. It was his blood and his blood alone that makes it possible for you to stand before God and not be destroyed by judgment. And not only to not be destroyed, but to be found in perfection equal to Jesus covered in him as he would stand. And why? Simply because you love God and the truth. You cannot love the truth and hate God. And you cannot love God and love lies it's impossible the two are opposite and that's why satan lives in a world of deceit deception trickery and that's why everything that he has taught in this world is opposite to god and is out there to fool you 
and turn you away from Jesus. For God has clearly said that Jesus is the only way. And that then is the most attacked and maligned way. And I hope you can see how clear and simple it is. So we'll be dealing with these and many more issues because these guys just are not going away. So wherever you guys are, please share this. Get get it aware that this channel's up and we're going to still keep pounding through this stuff. Wherever you are, I hope this finds you well. God bless.